Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Rodeja. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe. And here I present day 2nd of July Lead Code Problem. The question that we have in today is Maximum area of a piece of cake after horizontal and vertical cuts. It's a medium level question on Lead Code and I totally feel the same. Even before jumping onto the details of today's problem, I have a very special announcement for all the college students out there who are in final and pre-final year. So I'm planning to create a resume template and I'll be sharing all the details in the telegram group of Coding Decoded for which I need some of your support as well who are in college especially. So please do check that group out and I'm pretty sure it's gonna help a lot of young engineers out there. Now let's get back to the problem. Uh, for all those who have been following along Coding Decoded from past one year or two years will know that we have already solved this question in the month of June 2021. The like says it all, it's more than 100, the comment says it all and it clearly says that it's the best available solution for this problem on YouTube. So it's gone, not going to disappoint you at all. I have clearly explained the algorithm involved along with test case iteration. So once you'll go through this video, the concept will be crystal clear to you. It's based on the concept of greedy algorithms. I hope you're going to enjoy this video up. And apart from this, don't forget to check out Coding Decoded SD Division Sheet. This sheet talks about all the complex topics that are asked in coding interviews. For example, dynamic programming, graph, tries, binary search, backtracking, bit manipulation, monotonic stacks, two pointer, priority queues, heaps, and matrices. And if you'll check out any of these sheets, you will find two important things there. The first one would be the template of the concept that gets applied to all the questions of backtracking in this case. So if you want to understand backtracking template, backtracking concept, then this template is for you. And once you have done it, what you need to do, you need to try out the questions provided in the list down below in the increasing order of difficulty, easy, medium and hard. And you guys yourself will see that the same get concept gets applied onto the rest of the questions. You'll be able to solve this question by yourself. So it will act as a practice opportunity for all of you there. And in case you get stuck somewhere, then the video solutions are provided as well. The other thing that I want to highlight is the most asked questions or must do questions before an interview. So if you have a very important interview planned very soon, extremely soon, that means in a day or two, and you don't know how to revise graph or dynamic programming and rest of the concept, then I have marked those questions with double asterisk sign. So it, it basically covers a wide variety of questions based on the concept of dynamic programming and for the rest of the sheets as well. So do check these sheets up. And I promise once you will go through these sheets, these concepts would become on your tips. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. The hard work is all yours. I can only be the catalyst. And over to you guys. I am pretty sure that you guys are going to nail it up. Thank you.